Here we go, we are continuing with the example paper A question, it's number 39. It's a question about platelet aggregation. In front you see a small tiny platelet and you understand that uh, this uh, cell is living not, not too much, like 7 to 10 days. And renovation of the cycle is very important as if you are giving some uh, heparin or low molecular weight heparins and uh, producing uh, heparin inducing thrombocytopenia, renovation or recycling of the entire count of the platelet occur in one week around. So let's read this question. Pa platelet aggregation is reduced by the following drugs. Acetyl salicylic acid, dipyridamol, tranexamic acid, ketorolac, and dextrans. As to discuss every of the, of the drug in part, for example, acetyl salicylic acid is uh, one of uh, the anti-inflammatory drug or prototype. It inhibits reversible COX-1 and COX-2 or cyclooxygenase enzyme. And even a low dose of acetyl salicylic acid or uh, aspirin, also known, uh, use irreversibly blocks the formation of thromboxane, thromboxane A2. That is very important. And this one is released from the platelets and produce vasoconstriction, vasoconstriction and of course promote aggregation. Dipyridamol is the second drug, is also correct, and it is a pyrimidopyrimidine derivative with a vasodilator and antiplatelet uh, aggregation properties. So, acetyl salicylic acid inhibit thromboxane A2, it is correct. Dipyridamol as well uh, produce vasodilation. Tranexamic acid and uh, aminocapronic acid are antifibrinolytic uh, drugs that uh, produce effect of preventing fibrinolysis and disruption of the thrombe. So it, it, it prevent, uh, prevent disruption of the formated clot and do not prevent aggregation. Ketorolac is the same COX-1 or cyclooxygenase inhibitor which as a uh, as you know, COX-1 produce uh, uh, leukotriens, leukotriens uh, prostaglandins and thrombo, uh, thromboxane A2. And strains are uh, some special high molecular weight uh, drugs uh, or they represent a plasma volume expander made from natural sources uh, like sugar. It works by restoring blood plasma loss through the severe bleeding. And the antithrombotic uh, effect or platelet aggregation prevention is mediated through the binding of erythrocytes, platelets and vascular endothelium, increasing their electronegativity, which uh, thus reducing erythrocyte aggregation and platelet adhesiveness. Thank you very much for your watching. Have a great time, guys.